pepper, no, they take light for you. channel if you are a new subscriber welcome 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 home. and if you have been here before thank you for all this tuning in i'm so happy to see you guys things are doing and on my channel we talk about lifestyle fit motherhood marriage sewing tips and everything in between and if you know you love this kind of content or you would love to see more of this content please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss out talking about the cultural shock i got when i got winnie pain should I or oh, should I say three month update of me being here with my family and the things we've experienced so far? First thing we'll be talking about is the weather, guys. <laughs> okay, come from Nigeria that the weather is plus plus forty plus thirty like that like that. And coming down to this place, I I we came around in September and that was fall. And even during the fall alone, I was feeling because as day we went out and. The whole way, the whole breeze, the whole wind was just ah. I just have to run inside the car, and my family friend was like, ah, You've not seen anything, my time you get there to winter, hey, you know yourself. I was like, It can't be up to that. And winter came, and I was like, Jesus, is this weather? All this no, it's just fine though. When it comes to your body, this weather is not a joke. It's not a joke. Minus 17 feels like 28. Minus 30. Minus 40. Ah, ah. Kilo day. But you know, we have to cope. Second will be time change during winter. I remember we got the message that um, by the particular time, the time we go one hour backward. And I was like, really? I've never experienced this in Nigeria before. Our 24 hours, our 24 hours, it's not moving backward, it's not moving forward, it's just our normal 24 hours. But yeah, and to be as in, on that particular day, around one, the time just went back to 12. That's in that one before, that one shocked me too. The market, okay, in Nigeria, we have the open market, you can go down your streets, come out of your gates, buy bread, buy biscuits, buy anything you want to buy on your streets. But yeah, you have to go to the store. There's no open market. I've not seen one. I don't know if there's one. But three months that I've been here, I've not seen any open market. I don't know if there's any open market in Winnipeg. Please, if there's any open market in Winnipeg, please put it in the comment section for me. I've not seen any open open market in Winnipeg. And you just have to, everything is just about store. You have to go to the store to get these. You want to buy your clothes, you go to the store. You want to buy this, you go to the store. Or like when we're in Ninja, or like Ninja, anywhere. You can buy, and if you want to buy those clothes, I know you go to do mother. You will be dragging it the way the Igbo boys be dragging. Come and buy, you are not fine. You are this, you know. Those ones too used to sweet, but this one shopping is not interesting here. Yeah. Or like Ninja, when you go to those Igbo mother, Osho, the Yapa, and they're dragging your sister, be to me, come here, my color, you know. But yeah, everybody just in that store. You want to buy, buy palm oil store. You want to buy this store. You, you even sometimes you buy online, they will deliver it to your doorstep. So you don't need to stress yourself. So shopping is so interesting here. Yeah? And there's no open market. I've not seen one unlike Nigeria. So those are under culture. The other one is cashless policy. Hmm. It's so rare to see people bringing out cash when you go to stores. Like you want to pay, you are bringing out cash. Most people always use the ATM. And there's a particular trend on this ATM. Just tap your ATM, uh, tap your card on the POS machine, and that is it. You don't even need to use your pin. I've not seen that one before in Nigeria. Yeah, so it's really shocking to me. There's a day I went out and they say I should tap. I just look like tap what, tap what. But in Nigeria, you have, you have to go to the POS machine. And even sometimes when you get to the POS, all these POS guys, they will not give you the POS machine. No. They will just hold it for you. You have to put your pin. They won't press the money for you, you know. But yeah, you just tap. Sometimes you can use the pin if you want to, you know. So that's another, sh uh, another shock for me. The next one is transportation. Or should I say the buses? So yeah, in Nigeria, you just go to the normal random bus stop or the BRT bus stop and enter your downfall, enter your bus. You, you, sometimes you'll be there for hours, you don't even know when the bus that is going to your route is coming. You know, that one is just good luck. You just there. And sometimes, if you have a plan of getting to a particular place, 
in Nigeria, especially Lagos. You know, you don't know what you don't know what the traffic will hold. You don't know if there's going to be any accident. You don't even know if there's going to be anything happening on the road. But here, if you are using the bus, you can check your routes. You can check where you can you can enter the bus going to your route. You can check the, the time you'll be getting to your destination, the time the bus will be arriving. If you are going to a destination and you have to get there by two, it will tell you the bus you can enter. There's a particular app that will show you the time the bus is coming, the number of the bus, and if you miss your bus, they will tell you the, the next bus that is coming at the time the bus is coming. Unlike Nigeria, we don't have that. You just have to go to the bus stop. You wait where the bus driver and the conductor start shouting, oh, shoulder, 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 yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, you know, that's the, that's, that's what we do in Nigeria. So that one to shock me, as in I was surprised. I'm sure that you're going to be comfortable. You're not sitting down in the wood. You're not sitting down uh you're not sitting down something that's up to your bum bum you know all those that for when you sit down it's, ah, you cannot complain even when you complain the conductor will give you your size and again even inside the bus huh, everybody's always quiet everybody's like, it's always like everybody's fighting i don't know everybody just mind let me just put it that way that everybody's just minding their business people are always on your pod people are always on your yeah pod people are always on their phone you know they don't they don't care about people that is beside them they don't care. and again when you get to your bus stop there's a wire on the bus that you just drag down then the bus driver will know that you've got into your bus stop they have got you to your bus stop it's bus stop or they won't drop you at uh, maybe on the street or this is my house drop no they will drop you at the bus stop so that is that is another thing that shocked me. And Jack, I've been motivated more like this is where I want to stop. Oh, driver, don't take me past my house, you know. But yeah, you will go to the bus stop. And that is it. Yeah, they love dog. Ha! Huh. As in, they take care of their dog as if they're taking care of children. Like, they cater for their dog the way people cater for their children. They take their dog as as their priority. They take them to the hospital, they enter bus with people, and the woman that they carry a dog in a stroller. So dog has stroller. <laughs> yeah, I never saw that before. Nigeria is uh, what is shame that we used to drag you. Drag you anyway. And you know in Nigeria we have uh dogs always outside, not inside. But this one dog is always with them. To them on their bed and all. And you can't do anything to the dog. You can't eat their dog. You can't because they can sue you if you do it to their dog and they don't joke with it. So it's just the same way you don't joke with your children. Some of them don't joke with their kids. And I heard that they also collect allowance from, from the government on their dogs. Should I say pets? Let me just say, let me stop saying dog. On their pets. So they, so you should see the way they cherish dog here. Yeah, they cherish their dog. And sometimes when you get to the store, if you are not careful, you think you by buying something for yourself, maybe milk, all those stomach, everything. Before you know what happened, you've bought dog food. You need to check. Make sure you check your your stuff when you're buying to the store. So you know, okay, I'm buying this one. This one is for woman being it's not for dog. Before you go and buy dog food and you feel like okay, I've bought something. Because they package their food, dog's food, the way they package woman being food. So another cultural shock is they buy light on here. Hey, if you get to any store, if you want to buy anything, then so you're buying Lilo. They're not giving Lilo for free. For those of us that are not in Nigeria, Lilo is a plastic bag. But in Nigeria, we call it Lilo. Learn that when I was in Nigeria, <laughs> anything that I buy, like, they'll give me Lilo. It's quite dry in my kitchen. I always pack Lilo. If you, if you come to my house, you will see Lilo. You always see Lilo. There's no way you're not saying if you come to my house. But yeah, you have to buy Lilo for everything. I was like, Lilo. So that my husband is going to the store, I just said, babe, carry this gather must go. So that when you finish buying from the store, you you pack it inside the gather must go inside the car, then you bring it to you can't be paying money for Lilo. It's not that maybe the money is much, but I just feel in summer buying Lilo. Buying Lilo. Then when you get to shop right in Lagos, they even be telling you that this Lilo is too much now. Reduce it. You know, all those farm markets in Lagos. When you buy some things on the if you are buying something that is cold, they give you another Lilo. If you're buying toiletries, they give you another Lilo. You know, and you'll be like, why are they doing this? You know? But yeah, you have to buy the Lilo. I don't know the reason why they are doing that. If you are, if not the reason, please let me put it in my comment section. So I will understand the reason why they are selling Lilo. So another cultural shock is that yeah, we drink from the tap. 
you don't need to buy pure water or sachet water you don't need to buy bottled water you don't need to buy the dispenser water all you need to do is just take your cup and drink from the tap i remember the first night we got here and we wanted to eat so we told our um our friend that said that we want bottled water i was like why are you taking bottled water the tap water is clean that's why everybody drinks here except maybe you're outside and you need to drink water but really why do you want to buy water and bring it to the house where you have a good water here yeah. unlike ninja you know you have to, even if you're going to, going to drink water from the tap in nigeria that means that is that that means it's a bottle or maybe the water has gone through a lot of treatment and no you know you can't just drink water from any tap in nigeria you, you, are, you need to be sure but yeah you can drink water so another thing that shocked me here is that nepal and they take light <laughs> so sorry in nigeria we call it nepal but it's power supply 24 7 there is always light yeah you don't take light at all you know it's a good time i just feel like okay it's enough let's just switch it off for some time because there's always light what will you do without light during the winter you need eater during the summer you need fun so imagine if there's no light how will you cope during the uh, during the winter? How will you eat up your house? So there's always Nepa light. There's always power supply here, unlike Nigeria. But sincerely, in my area in, the, in Nigeria, we always have light, even if it's not 24 hours, or well, maybe 20 hours in a day. But the day they will not give us light for two days, we don't have to complain. So um, yeah, car is very important. It doesn't matter if you're rich or not. But you know in Nigeria. Car is not rich. So yeah, it, does, it doesn't matter if you're a big boy or big girl. Or if you need a car, it is essential. It's very important. But Ninja, it's not real. <laughs> I don't need a car if I don't need a car. If I don't have the money, you know. So I'm buying car and buy other things, you know. But yeah, it's very important to make things easy and to make your moving around, your family, everyone. Can, can you just imagine yourself trekking or walking inside the snow with children? How will you cope? So yeah, car is very important, very, very important. So the other one is driving license. And yeah, you must pass both your knowledge exam and practical um, exam, practical test. Unlike Ninja, once you just go to drive, uh, driving school, maybe two weeks, even some people know you go to driving school, you know. So once you just go to the driving school and you know how to drive, you can go to, uh, to their office, and, I don't know, you go to their office to get your your temporary card before they give you a permanent card sometimes they might say okay we need you to drive around our office to be sure you know how to drive and sometimes if you know someone like this you don't even need to go through that stress if you know someone in nigeria why would you go through that stress you don't know so yeah there's something like that you have to pass even if you've been driving for 15 17 years and you came down to canada you have to do the driving license practical test and knowledge is that you can't you can't you, you can't jump in. I know about some people that they've been driving for a very long time in Nigeria and they've done this test like five times and they are getting tired already. Here it is different unlike Nigeria. Another shock is that their houses or should I say their apartments are always clean. Or like Nigeria when you rent the house you need to do a lot of touches, a lot of um cleaning, you know you need to Maybe you need to repaint, you need to fix some things, but yeah, if you are moving into the apartment, everything is being sorted out. Everything is, everything is being sorted out before you move in. The, most apartments here is always like that kind of face me and face you kind of stuff. I don't know if you understand what I mean by that. Like your door facing somebody else's door in Nigeria, and there will be a corridor. So I was telling my husband, and I said, Ah, if it's Nigeria, that we have this corridor or more. <laughs> Some people will not put stove outside. They will put stove, put bag. But so yeah, the, the even the corridors are always neat. They always clean it every week. They have people that do that, and they always make their apartment as fancy as possible, all because they just want it to be comfortable for the person coming in. And yeah, you can't put things on the wall. You can't. Except maybe you're in your own house, but if you rent an apartment or a condo, you can't put nail on the wall. You can't just put, you can't just mess the, the, even the paint. You can't mess the paint because once you are leaving the apartment, you would have to do it before you leave. So that's another thing that shocked me. Yeah. And I said something. I said, if somebody is living in this kind of 
apartment in Nigeria, like, okay, this kind of apartment, you'll be hearing noise, people will be making us around the corridor, like, shouting, you know, this place, you have noise, you don't disturb other people, or like, Nigeria, you hear, ah, mommy, Cynthia, this is, this is, you know, <laughs> sorry, I don't know if there's any Cynthia, I'm sorry, so, all those things, is not happening here, so, another thing that shocked me is that you rent a parking space, you pay for your parking space, if you have a car, you have to pay for a parking space, except if you have your own house, maybe you've got your own house, so automatically you have a garage, you have where you can park, but if you, if you rent an apartment here, you have to, you have to pay for car park if you have a car. Or like we Nigerians, you know, when we want to move to a new house, you will be looking for the the house have uh, parking space, yeah. Because I cannot collect us and don't have parking space. But yeah, even if they have parking space, you pay. If they have parking space and you not pay, you can't put your car there. You have to pay and we pay monthly. So that's another thing that shocked me. Ah, I've paid for apartment. You should know that I will have a car. So why should I pay for for car park again? But yeah, you have to pay. I want to. I feel like why why i noticed that they don't like people helping them you saw someone carrying loads and you want to help but like, no, no 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 don't worry i'm fine i'm fine you know they don't allow people to help them yet so that day me and my friend went out and we saw someone that particular person was big carrying load so wanted to help i was like no no no, no i'm fine i'm fine i was like ah so i asked my friend is that they used to do here he was like yes yeah, so that they will not allow you that maybe they used to feel like if they if you help them you they will have to pay you or something they don't allow people to help them they love to do their things themselves you know they mind their business and they want you to mind their own you know maybe except maybe you guys are kind of close then maybe i don't know maybe they will allow. but in nigeria if you are carrying load and you see someone oh there you love me you don't see this load with me you cannot help me or if you are coming from anywhere you see your name ah mommy please come help me carry this uh, and take come help me carry this but yeah they don't allow people to help them so you, or like Nigeria, you can help people. You know? Here yeah, is that they can start conversation easily. They don't need to know you. They don't need to know who you are, especially when you are with them in the, in a very um close environment. They don't need to know who you are. Like in church, most times when I when when I was still breastfeeding my son, I have to take him to the nursery. And once I enter that nursery, I just, what's his name? How old is he? He's so big. Is he still eating? Is he walking now? You know. I saw to just tell the story of uh, when I was this, when I wanted to give birth to my child, this and this, this is what I went through, you know, and with the tropical Nigeria, you just, just open your mind and start telling people what, people that you don't know, things, you know, you know, normal Nigeria, you keep secrets, you don't know who is who, you don't know who this person is, you don't know if this person is a wish, so I can't start telling you about my husband, that's not telling you about my children, about my background, but these people, they will tell you everything, I remember a particular day, when I was saying that the reason why, the reason why she she gave birth to that baby was because she felt at the table she needed another person because it's not yet complete. Imagine why are you telling me about your family? Why are you telling? And I know you. And that kind of people that it's so easy for them to start conversation. They don't want to, they don't want to know who you are. They don't want to know if you are a Christian, if you are a pagan, if you are a thief, if you are a wish. They don't want to know. They'll just start that conversation. Even without greeting you, they'll start that conversation. Like those are the things I've experienced that really shocked me. You know, Ninja and Canada, the way we think, the way we do things are so different. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. If you are new in Canada or anywhere abroad, if you want to share your own um, shock, you can put it in the comment section. And if you love this uh, video so far, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for staying this far. Love you guys. Bye.